Rheumatoid arthritis is basically a first the definition. It, what is that called? Rheumatoid arthritis? Very good. That is called autoimmune disease. You are the UK brilliant students. Autoimmune disease. So, this means that there is a loss of self immunity that is leading to the self destruction of any organ. We will see how did that self destruction occur. But at the moment, the important thing is we will discuss or we will highlight some of the important features that are taking place in the rheumatoid arthritis. For example, number one point is Paris formation. Very good. Paris formation. Where is it? Let's see. What is the other thing? Fibrous ankylosis. Excellent. What is the other thing? Fibrous ankylosis. What is the other thing? And what is the other thing? Brain. 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 जहां जहां इम्यून कॉम्प्लेक्स जाके बैठेगा वहां वहां बीमारी कर देगा ये इसीलिए ये कहते हैं कि इट्स अ सिंड्रोमिक लाइक मैनिफेस्टेशन इन द ऑटोइम्यून डिजीज नाउ द वर्ड इज ऑटोइम्यून हम पैथोजेनेसिस में एक एक चीज को खोलते जाएंगे पन्ना खुलता चला जाएगा हमारा कांसेप्ट क्या होता जाएगा पहला पॉइंट है ऑटोइम्यून इसका मतलब है कि ऐसी चीज जो हमारी इम्यूनिटी के खिलाफ चल रही है ऑटो उसके अगेंस्ट चल रही है हमें पता है कि हमारी बॉडी के अंदर क्या हो रहा है देयर आर सम immune mechanism that are taking place and these are the protective mechanism and this is called the tolerance what is tolerance for example there is an army that is being assigned to the body and these army include the lymphocytes it include the monocytes it include the t-cells and the b-cells what is the duty of that army the duty of the army or the dendritic cell by the way dendritic cells are also belonging to the macrophage lineage system another kind of a lineage system slightly separate from the macrophages but on the other hand this also is comprising the reticular endothelial system so these army the basic job that is being assigned to that army is to see whether all of the cells are belonging to that body or it is foreign to that body by the way this concept is very important when it comes to transplantation when we go for kidney transplant when we go for any transplant what we do we do cross matching and blood matching and what is the concept behind that? To see whether there is any possibility that the donor cell is, which is being transplanted to the recipient if the cells, HLA cells or the receptors which are present on the cells called HLA or major histocompatible receptors are they going to match or closely resembling the native cell or not? If it, they are not resembling the, the native cell there will be no transplantation taking place or it will lead to the failure of the transplantation. So this is the basic concept behind transplantation as well. So the major histocompatible receptors are of two types. Primarily some say three but you have to remember two. Major histocompatible type one, one and excellent. So these are cells which are present primarily on all the nucleated cells. What happened in the loss of cell tolerance? That our T cells, which are of two types, one is CD4, other CD4 cells. What happened in the CD4 cells? That the CD4 cells have their specific genetic predisposition. When I say genetic predisposition, Fazil, it means that because of some genetic change, if there is any insult, Coming to that body, it will lead to the disturbance of the hierarchy pattern. It will lead to the disturbance of the equilibrium. This is called genetic predisposition. For example, all of you are smokers. But there are only 5 or 10 who are going to take squamous cell carcinoma, not other. Why? Because all out of 40 or 50, only 5 to 10 are genetically predisposed to the change that is taking place because of the smoking. Same goes here. We know that this loss of cell tolerance is because of two mechanisms. One is that there is a genetic change in the T cell receptor. Which change comes in the cells? Which receptors are there? HLA? HLA-D2. HLA-D2. These T cells change in the CD4 cells. And the other thing is that because of the smoking and because of the infection, the joint antigen, the T-cell receptor, could be fibrogen, could be T-cell receptor, the joint antigen, could be fibrogen, could be uh, vibrantin, could be alpha analysis, some enzyme which is present in the antigen. I call it an There is the change in the nature of the antigen 
And by the way, antigen is always proteinic in nature, and proteins are made up of amino acids. So amino acids. So amino acids. There is a chain of the amino acids. There is a one famous amino acid that is being chained to the other. That amino acid is called chain to circulated proteins. So because of the chain in the antigen, this self antigen now is becoming a foreign antigen. Now it's become chain. This is called the epigenetic chain taking in that antigen plus loss of cell transcription. Both are working together and making the self antigen as a foreign antigen. And this is how the mechanism starts. This is how the T X cells they take that antigen as a foreign and they ask T X one. By the way, what is T X one called? Cell and T X seventeen also called. Two functions primarily form. If you just memorize them, you will come to the conclusive diagnosis of your pathogenesis. So T X one, what will they cause? Release of enzymes, which will invite which cells? Macrophages. Macrophages are coming into action. And what is the action of the macrophage? What happened to the synovial cells under the influence of macrophages? Make enzymes. Synovial cells make an enzyme, and that enzyme is called protease. And what is the function of the protease? So cartilage bone के ऊपर क्या पड़ा हुआ था? Cartilage. Cartilage का भी टूटना जरूरी है, वरना arthritis कैसे होगा? तो cartilage टूट रहा है because of the synovial cell releasing protease enzyme. ठीक हो गया. अब synovium membrane के अंदर synovial fluid पड़ा हुआ है. Bone अभी नहीं टूटी. ये याद रखें अभी तक bone नहीं टूटी, हमने अभी तो नहीं तोड़ी. काटले जब ने तोड़ दिए, ठीक है? साइनोवियम के अंदर लिपोसाइट पड़े हुए हैं, लिपोसाइट्स पड़े हुए हैं, प्लाज्मा सेल्स पड़े हुए हैं, मोनोसाइट एंड बैक्टर। आयशा, प्लाज्मा सेल्स, बी सेल्स हैं, दे प्रोड्यूस व्हाट? व्हाट इज़ द फंक्शन ऑफ़ प्लाज्मा सेल्स? एंटीबॉडीज़। एंटीबॉडीज़, वेरी � now these antibodies are forming, these are called auto-antibodies. Two types of antibodies are formed. One is? Anti-CCP. Anti-CCP antibodies are formed. And this is one of the primarily function on lab investigation for the rheumatoid cancer. Other is auto-antibodies against? IgG. IgG and? IgG. और इसको क्या कहते हैं? R A factor. So R A factor and anti C C P R the antibodies. These are formed in the rheumatoid arthritis. ठीक है? अब synovium के अंदर invitation कहाँ से आ रही है? T cell ने 17 को भी कह दिया, 1 को भी कह दिया, Vejo cell को. All the cells they are moving where? To the synovium. और क्या क्या चीज़ आएगी दला synovium के अंदर? CCP antibodies, RA factor antibodies, lymphocytes, macrophages, excellent. Neutrophils, excellent. This is why the synovium will become what will happen? Panel. Our point is clear. Panel formation. Panel formation, what did I write down? Panel formation. Macrophages, fibroblasts, factor release, which is fibrosis. Now, if there is a fibrosis, ये ट्रीट नहीं हुआ फाइब्रोसिस इन लीडिंग टू ऑसिफिकेशन नाउ इट इस कॉल्ड बोली नॉर्मली देर इस अ स्पेस बिटवीन टू जॉइंट स्पेस देर जॉइंट्स और बोन्स दैट इस कॉल्ड अ जॉइंट स्पेस नाउ व्हाट हैपन इस वन ऑफ द जॉइंट स्पेस और वन ऑफ द बोन इस आर्टिकुलेटेड विद द अदर now what happened is because of this articulation or the attachment, the joint mobility is also disturbed. Remember, we have destroyed the cartilage, we have formed panel formation, and the last but not least is that we have to break down the bone as well. Now the breakdown of the bone is by which cells? Osteoclast. Osteoclast. Excellent. Osteoclast कहाँ से order बिल रहे हैं वो? Very good. अब हड्डी भी यहाँ से टूटेगी. तो fluid कौन सा पड़ा हुआ है? कहाँ जाएगा? क्या बनेगी? Very good. So this is how our pathogenesis is formed. This is autoimmune disorder. Whenever there is autoimmune disease, we have to look for what type of clinical manifestation. It could be rheumatoid nodule. It could be connective tissue disorder. For example, remember one thing: when it comes to lungs, when it comes to joints, it's a multi-systemic disorder can occur in any organ, and in the lungs, it is going to form. Connective tissue fibrosis, that is called interstitial pulmonary fibrosis, 
one of the important manifestation of the rheumatoid arthritis in the lung. And it can lead to rheumatoid nodule in the lung or in the skin. Skin me kaam banega? Sab ko take se. Joints will hold kar raha hai. Slowly progressive hai. Shuru shuru mein malaise, fever ke saath present karega. And then it goes into ke ye joints will hold kar raha hai. Symmetrical will hold kar raha hai. Ab is ke na morning sickness bhi ho rahi hai. But us ke na knee locking bhi ho rahi hai. Knee bandhi raha. Achha, handi tuti thi. Jab handi tuti to kya hua? Cyst pali. तो हड्डी टूटने पे रिपेयरिंग होगी रिपेयरिंग पे रिस्पांस क्या होगा डिफॉर्मेशन होगी आउटग्रोथ होगी सेल्स की वो जो आउटग्रोथ होती है उसको क्या कहते हैं ऑस्टियोफाइट क्या कहते हैं अच्छा स्मॉल जॉइंट्स के अंदर जैसे इंटरफ्रिजियल जॉइंट्स हैं डिस्कल और फॉक्सल इसमें क्योंकि जॉइंट में खाली याद रखें जॉइंट स्पेस नहीं होती उसमें लिगमेंट्स भी अटैच होते हैं उसमें मसल्स भी अटैच होते हैं तो वो सारे इन्वॉल्व होंगे तो उसकी वजह से खास किस्म की डिफॉर्मिलिटी बनती है दैट इज कॉल्ड स्मॉल याद रखें ऑस्टियोथराइटिस हम आगे पढ़ेंगे उसमें हर्बर्टन नोड्स बनते हैं और इसके अंदर स्मॉल नेक डिफॉर्मिलिटी बनती है दिस इज वन ऑफ द क्लासिकल फीचर सो जब कभी आपको रिमोटार आर्थराइटिस का शक होगा तो आपने जेन में रखना है कि आपने कौन-कौन से टेस्ट कराने हैं जैसे प्राइमरीली ये दो इंपॉर्टेंट टेस्ट है सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट रिमोटार ठीक हो गया ये दैट्स इट बात खत्म हो गई बस ताली आपने ही बजाओ